All right. Well, let's let's talk about guys we actually could actually see on Thursday. At the <laughs> right. So uh, so instead of Pache, we got Brent Brent Rooker and Connor Capel. What uh, Cap- you know? Yeah, what Capel? Yeah. Capel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what uh, you know? What kind of capabilities are we looking at <laughs> with these guys? <laughs> yeah. So uh, Capel, you, you saw a little bit toward the end of last season. I think yeah. he was a waiver claim in September. Um, and he had a great two weeks with the A's in a very, very small sample size. But, yeah. <laughs> but he looked really good for two weeks. Um, he's a left-handed hitter uh, who mostly plays the corners, but he could back up a little bit in center. Um, I think, uh, yeah, he, he's more of a probably a, a get-on-base um, guy who can run a little bit. Stole a few bases in spring, and obviously that's something that I think people um, think could, could be a little bit more of the game um, this season. So uh, Rooker is – he's got some good power numbers in the minors. Uh, he's definitely a stripped corner guy. Um, but, you know, he, he's about power and on base, draw some walks, uh, also strike out a good amount. Uh, but hit something like 25 homers and or 28 homers in 81 games in AAA last season or something like that. So, um, so he's got some power potential. That, uh, I think you know they they were going they decided to go right left there with with the, the back of outfield spots. Rooker <coughs> is an option to maybe uh, platoon in left field with uh, with Seth Brown if they decide that they don't want to start Seth against left-handers all the time. Um, is their defense think, just like kind of average uh, for both of those guys? You think or like uh, Cable's? I would say Cable's probably the stronger defender. Rooker is. Um, I, I don't know that he's going to wow anybody with range. Um, I think you know he's, but he's definitely he's he's a corner guy for sure. Um, I think the offense is first with him. Yeah. What did you th- and uh, also Kevin? So they also. Made it over like Kevin Smith, who I he had a he had a really good spring. You know, he seems like a really you know, like a plus defender at third and short. Um, were you kind of surprised that they he, they didn't bring him up, or do you think they just have so much versatility across the infield? You know, they got Peterson, they got honestly, you know, Allen can play both spots up the middle. Diaz can play all over the place. That um, I don't know, maybe they just want to see him get more consistent at bats, or like what do you what do you think the logic was in that? That yeah, I think uh, I think he he was just made a little bit redundant by uh, the fact that they have Diaz, who's a right-handed hitting infielder who can play all three or all four spots really. Um, they have Nick Allen, and who's going to platoon at shortstop with Diaz, um, and then and Peterson, like you mentioned. I, I think it was kind of a numbers game with with Kevin Smith, who's a third yeah. baseman or shortstop, and. They, uh, you know, Kasi said last night the the final bench spot basically came down to Smith or Rooker, and uh, and they decided you know, both of them right-handed hitters with a little bit of pop. Um, they decided to go with Rooker just to, at the way that he put it, was to to have more options uh, with what they could do with the lineup, uh, which probably means a little bit more, uh, you know, platooning in the outfield. Whereas I feel like their infield mix is pretty set I don't know exactly where uh where Kevin Smith would have would have you know gotten his time if he if he made the the roster except for maybe getting the occasional start uh at third base against lefties because their their shortstop situation is pretty set 